locked up, they won't let me out. And I had a long day in court. Welcome back, everybody. I just wanted to do a quick video and let everybody know what's going on here uh, with the channel. So uh, as of this morning, I woke up and checked my Facebook page to find out that I have been banned again and put in Facebook prison. Um, so unfortunately, I cannot actually post anything on Facebook. I can actually see my page. My page is still up. Like uh, for viewers out there, you guys could go there and it would look normal to you. I can't reply to any comments. I can't do any postings of any sort. And uh, I'm in 72 hour Facebook jail. So, locked up uh, like a Kong and an OJ. So, hopefully, we'll be freed like OJ soon enough. Um, in all seriousness, I've done uh, the appeal process, the official appeal process, and then sort of the backdoor appeal process. So, uh, for those that don't know, um, for Folks like myself who run a firearms related Facebook page, we are frequent targets of Facebook bans and Facebook nonsense um, that happens all the time. So uh, those of us in this community kind of have a go-to source at Facebook who works in Facebook corporate who uh, doesn't do this. His job is not to look at banned pages, but he helps us out. Um, so he's one guy sort of behind the enemy lines and I'm not gonna give his name out here because I'm sure he doesn't want it. But I actually got his name from Rob Ski over at uh, the AK Operators Union the last time I was banned. So uh, he's already replied to me uh, looking into it, so he is on it. But yeah, he's a, he's a guy behind enemy lines trying to help us out because uh, the reason Facebook is saying I'm banned is that I'm selling guns. Now, as anybody who knows my Facebook page and this channel and what I do, I don't sell guns. I don't have an FFL. I, I don't sell guns on Facebook. Um, but I do post links to places that do. Uh, sell guns. So they're, they were saying, and they of course list out examples of links, uh, or, or posts, I should say, not links, posts um, that I have where I'm selling guns and I'm not. So the bad thing is, last time I was banned for the exact same thing, and it came out after my appeal that I was right and I wasn't selling guns, yet I'm still on the next tier, if you will, of Facebook bans. So the way it works, for those that don't know, is first you get a 24 hour ban. Then a 72 hour, which is what I'm on now, then a week, and then permanent. Uh, so again, even though I was found innocent, if you will, in Facebook court of anything they accused me of the first time that resulted in my first ban, I'm still now going to the 72 hour ban, which even though, again, I didn't do anything wrong the first time, and I didn't do anything wrong this time. So obviously, uh, Facebook is just, you know, a bunch of anti-gun folks who are running it and kind of don't know what it looks like when someone's selling a gun versus when someone's talking about a gun. Um, so that's pretty much what happened, at least what I believe happened. Now, I already know what's going to happen in the comment section. Some of you guys watching this, and many of you probably already have before I even got to this part in the video, have stated down below, why don't you just leave Facebook? Screw Facebook, delete your page, etc. Well, I understand that sentiment, a couple things. Number one, if we do that, then they win, right? Uh, Facebook is by far and away the biggest social media source out there on the planet, and it ain't even close, um, at least for for American and uh, English speaking folks in Asia, they have some different programs that are similar. Um, but so if I do that and all the YouTube gun folks just left, they win, right? So in my opinion, that's not the right way to handle it. The way to do it is to fight it from within and get them to change their policies, which are obviously uh, anti-American. So um, there's that aspect. And there's the other aspect that um, the goal of anybody who does what we do on social media is to reach people, right? Whether it's with videos, with posts, with photos, whatever. Um, the goal is to get the message out to people. That's pro Second Amendment, getting information out to people on the, on things we like, on guns, gear, um, freedom, self defense, all those sorts of things. And the reality is, in my my case, I reach. It varies by week, but it's at least four times more people on Facebook than I do on YouTube. Um, and a lot of times it's upwards of 10 to 15 times more people. So my reach is vastly more there than it is uh, here on YouTube or even over on Full 30. Um, so, you know, getting your message out as many places as possible is the way to do it. But for me, my number one is Facebook. It's also where I direct people to talk to me about comments and stuff like that because Facebook is set up for communication and YouTube isn't. So uh, when you guys write me comments now nowadays on YouTube with the way it's YouTube's, YouTube, with the way it's set up, I don't always see those comments. Over on Facebook, I think I see all of them. So it's just a much better 
platform to communicate. And again, in my opinion, the way to change it is to do it from within. If we all leave, they don't care. Facebook has billions, I think 4 billion users, right? So if whatever the top 30 gun pages out there go away, they don't care. They don't care at all. It, it means nothing to them. But if we keep fighting them and appealing and doing all this stuff from within, that's the way to handle it, in my opinion. Um, at least for now, anyway. If things change, we'll let you guys know. But anyway, wanted just to let folks know out there, uh, if I'm not uh, responding to you on Facebook like I normally do, if I'm not posting deals like I normally do, that's why. I can't. Uh, I am banned from doing so until otherwise um, given my permissions back. So again, today is day one and uh, should be out of jail on Monday. Again, I'm appealing it uh, to the gentleman I spoke about earlier, so it could be earlier than that. But if you guys don't see anything until Monday, that's why. That's what's going on. Uh, we're just locked up doing time in the clink. Uh, that's it. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing, as always. And we'll see you in the next video.